we do a little locker room rapid fire. I mentioned oh. names. Tell me first thing comes to your head. Is that right? Yeah. John Cena. Um, the the man. Daniel Bryan. Oh man, like black belt in pro wrestling. Triple H. Triple H. It's not a quick answer, but his transition from wrestler to to corporate is just so impressive. Very smart. Kane? Oh, man. So Kane was already older. Kane was like uh, the uncle in the locker room, you know? Big, big man. Super intelligent. Like, respect. You know, Kane is the man. CM Punk? CM Punk is talented. Like, he's just... He's just so good at pro wrestling, you know. I mean, I know he has, I guess, has some attitude conflicts, but I'm a fan of his. We go after Johnny Ace. Oh, Johnny! Uh, you know what? When Johnny Ace was my boss, um, after Johnny Ace wasn't my boss, we became be better friends. He's he's a cool guy, man. He, he's uh, he gets it, you know. He's a team player. And um, he was a good man. JBL? JBL. Oh, man. When I first got there, I was telling someone yesterday, he was kind of intimidating, you know? But sure. once you get to know him, he's such a sweetheart. Last question. How do you want Santino to be remembered? Uh, God. That's a good question. Well, apparently my legacy is I was very fun on the European tours. That's that's what I hear now. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I, I really, people, because I, I can't, and people always relate to me as, as, as one of them, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have it. A, I brought it to life. You know, I put my heart and soul into it. Sacrificed my body for it. Sacrificed. Well, everyone sacrifices the time, right? It's a lot of time away from your family, and it's. Uh, I don't know how I want to be remembered. And that's interesting. Uh, when, you know, now I'm a coach. Now I'm back in it. I don't know. I guess I'll have to let let people decide how they want to remember me. But you know, the the guy that. Should have won it, could have won it, but you know, can we? There's kind of something romantic about never quite getting that full satisfaction of, uh, oh, oh, you know, the people were always left wanting a little more. Anything you want to talk about you're doing today? Do you want to plug anything? Do you want to let people know how to contact yeah. you if they want to book you? We're getting impact now, which is awesome. It's a lighter schedule. So I can stay home with my kids. You know, my daughter's in NXT, uh, Ariana Grace. And um, I got uh, two little ones at home, one and a half and four years old. So um, home life right now is just like a, a dream. Like probably the happiest days of my whole life right now. Are, and and I've had some amazing adventures. So to say that, it means a lot. But yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just loving it, man. Impact is, the locker room is, so talented. I'll, I'll put up the in-ring wrestling against anybody. You know, it's it's incredible. The matches are incredible. Uh, Josh Alexander is a wicked champion. Uh, you know, the office is great. Scott Demore is doing an incredible job resurrecting that. He already has resurrected it. We just got to get on. All we have to do is get on a, a big TV TV channel, and um, and we'll we'll blow up huge, man. And it's some awesome wrestlers there, and it's a lot of guys that were like. A little bit restricted guys that like for someone like Zach Ryder. The audience always wanted more of Zach Ryder. And every time he got over, they kind of stifled it a bit. So now these guys are, are having their moments, you know. Someone like Fandango, who's now Dirty Dango. He's a wicked wrestler, man. He can go. And they kind of put him in that character and he did it because that was his job and he never complained. But now he can wrestle. He can get out there and, and show people what he's always wanted to show them. And, and that's the thing about Impact. It's like, there's a little, the, the locker room has a bit of a chip on its shoulder. Like, I'm going to show you now what you guys missed and uh, what, what you could have had. And 
maybe maybe that's part of the spirit there that bring it. Like, I'm telling you, when I'm peeking through the curtain, it's like you're watching a special moment every time. Yeah, every every pay per view is like crazy. 